It's not the heat that... Welcome to Evolution of Pottery in Ancient Egypt. Excavations all over Egypt have uncovered enormous quantities of pottery vessels of all shapes and sizes. The production of pottery was mainly confined to the outskirts of settlements due to the materials required and to keep the kiln smoke away from inhabited spaces. The function of the product determined the selection of the raw material, its treatment, its form, as well as the finishing of the surface. Pottery was essential to ancient Egyptians' daily lives. It was used in all aspects of life, from the storage of grains and liquids to containers within the tombs of necropolises. The most common pottery was made from Nile silt that resulted in a reddish-brown clay. Limestone clay, which made for more attractive pottery, was only found in Upper Egypt. Early pots were made from pinched or coiled clay. Chopped straw, ashes, and other minerals were added, and the mixture was then smoothed and decorated before being put in the oven. Pots were fired in bonfires or enclosed within a brick kiln. The potter's wheel was utilized during the Old Kingdom. Pottery became smoother and more polished, similar to river stones. It was decorated primarily in red pigment, with the black color achieved by exposing it to smoke. Pottery workshops were attached to palaces or temples, and around the late period, specialized workshops began to appear. Quartzite particles, which created the rich blue or green glazing, became common during the New Kingdom. Mediterranean motifs and tin-based glazing came with the Greco-Roman era. Potsherds could be found anywhere and were the most common canvas for writing or drawing in comparison to the more expensive papyrus sheets. Named after their Greek description, Ostraca contained daily life records, letters, or could be drawn upon. Artists drew sketches for temples and tombs or simply for leisure. Mm -hmm. 